Hello my beautiful friends, it's Norma. I have a lot to do today, so I'm going to just jump right on in. So I always like to start with the laundry, it's something easy to do and it gets me up and moving. Hopefully I stay up and moving from there. But on this particular day, I had clothes in that basket that needed to be folded, clothes in the dryer that needed to be folded, load of sheets to wash and I also had a load of regular clothes to wash so I'd gotten a little bit behind on the laundry but we're gonna get things caught up and back on track So before I get too deep into things, I like to start out with my morning routine. It kind of gets me set for the day, gives me a place to start. So the first thing I'm doing is making my bed. And be sure to stay to the end. I'm sharing my recipe for an easy and delicious springtime dessert. And now that the living room is back on track, I'm going to move to the kitchen. So I had straightened out the kitchen the night before. I made sure the dishes were washed and, and put away. So this is just what we had left from my midnight snackers and the uh, breakfast. And I am just not sure what's going on with my lighting. I think my camera doesn't like the under the cabinet lights. Sorry about that. So here I'm using my Jaws granite cleaner to clean my countertops. I really like the way it just leaves everything so shiny without leaving a residue. With the My Mrs. Myers, it seems like they kind of leave a little bit of a like a film, just a little bit. I like to display them because they come in a set and they're pretty. Um, but this Jaws cleaner is my absolute favorite. I think Jaws should make sets. I don't think they make dishwashing liquid. I think they just make the sprays. And I'll leave a link to their website in the description box. Okay, so if you watched last Sunday's reset, you know I can't live without my planner. So I've done my morning routine. So now I'm gonna go through and check what I didn't get done during the week. Um, I know for sure I didn't get the, the, I didn't change the sheets. So I've already started that as you saw earlier in the video. And now let's see where else, what else I need to do. So I'm lost without my planner, so. Here's what I need to do. And I have it, I have the week marked off with one of these little temporary. Um, so when I'm done with the week, I just peel it off and move to the next week. So this is where I'm at. Um, I didn't get any boxes checked off, but I did do stuff. I just didn't make it to check off the boxes, which is the best part of the planner, but it just didn't, this week was so crazy with work. What I usually try to do is do my morning routine obviously in the morning when I first wake up. <laughs> and then about two o'clock is when I take my lunch break and that's when I'll try to get like the dailies, like um, cleaning the mirrors, dusting, cleaning out the fridge, cleaning the bathrooms. Um, today was crazy. 
It seemed like I didn't even take a lunch break any day this week, but I did get some stuff done. So let's go through and see what happened. I obviously made a menu plan. As you can see, everything's uh, written in. Uh, I did grocery shopping. I cleaned out my purse. I didn't dust, so I still have to, I need to, today I need to dust and clean the mirrors. Uh, I need to clean out the refrigerator, but I really need to like deep clean the refrigerator. So I'm probably going to do that tomorrow because I want to film it. I want to do a deep clean my fridge video. <laughs> um, I did clean the stove and the microwave though. Um, I did clean the bathrooms. I changed the bathroom towels. I restocked the toilet paper. Um, I changed the sheets earlier in the video. And so I need to, along with dusting, I'm going to clean the electronic screens, all the TVs, and my cell phone. Um, I sort through my paperwork and, e and mail every day. I just took out the trash. And then I'm trying to think if I should do... Clean the I'm just going to go ahead and clean the doorknobs and all the light switches um, today. So I don't know why I'm checking these off. Good thing I have an erasable pen. Huh. I did go through the house and clean all the switches and electrical sockets and all the doorknobs, but I just showed a few. It got a little bit tedious. I don't think you realize how many electrical sockets and light switches you have until you have to clean them. <laughs> Since I was cleaning the light switches, I took a good look at them. I didn't never realize how dirty and dusty they are, so but that's a project for another day.
podcast is vacuuming and mopping. And here is everything all done. It just looks so neat and clean and peaceful. And I'm also sharing my recipe for strawberry shortcake. It's quick and easy and delicious. It's actually perfect for an Easter gathering. So here's what you need. I'm going to list everything in the description box of what you need and the recipe. I hope you enjoy. This is a super simple cake. It's, I guess, like strawberry shortcake. I'm not sure what it would be, but. So you just make the vanilla, the cake mix, just like you would normally make it, except for instead of the water, and I do this with all my cakes, instead of water, I use milk. So, this is uh, the vanilla flavor. Duncan Hines used to make one called Golden Vanilla. I've had trouble finding it recently, so I don't know. I guess they stopped making it. Maybe they're just out of stock. I'm not sure what the deal is, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just using vanilla. It still tastes really good. That wasn't an eggshell. Oh, geez, you would think I would learn. Oh, it is what it is. I'm shocked it's Crisco. I usually get everything HEB brand. So, a third cup of oil. <laughs> So I got these, I got these measuring cups from, I ordered some airtight uh, containers from Amazon and it came with these, but there's, there's a line in them like right here. So I don't know if that's where you measure, it's not, it's, that's where you measure a cup. It's not, I think I measured it. That's why I put a little bit of extra oil because I only filled it to the line, but a third cup is more full than that. Yeah, fill it all the way to the top for a cup. Okay, now we know. So as you can see, I just mix the cake with my stand mixer and then I pour it into a 9 by 13 pan and I baked it at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. The next step is preparing the strawberries and I just cut off the top and then I cut them into slices. And then I just pour um, strawberry pie filling over the strawberries and mix them all together. The next thing I did was um, make my whipped cream 
Um, you can definitely use Cool Whip. It's very delicious with whip, whip cream, with Cool Whip as well, but it just kind of takes it to the next level with homemade whipped cream. So I put in a cup of heavy whipping cream along with a third cup of powdered sugar and a teaspoon plus a little bit of vanilla. And I'm not sure why I used my paddle attachment. It's actually easier to make the whipping cream with the little wire whisk attachment. It still came out okay. So then once the cake is out of the oven and completely cooled, I just pour the strawberry mixture over the cake and then I decorate it with the whipping cream in a piping bag. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. 